All right, guys. I thought I'd do an instructional video on this new five-inch touchscreen that I got for my Raspberry Pi. It took me a while to figure out how to get the calibration software and everything installed for this thing. Um, the seller doesn't give really any information on it, and I was scouring the internet all over the place, and finally I managed to piece it all together. So I thought I'd make a video just for future reference for myself and for anyone else who happens to get these screens, because they're actually a pretty cool screen. It's an 800 by 480 HDMI screen. There's a plug there for the HDMI. Um, resistive touch, so it's only single touch, but it is touch screen. Um, and they seem to be a rather good quality image too, that is nice and clear, and the Raspberry Pi plugs straight into the back here. So it sits nice and neat, no cables. It's got this adapter here that plugs into the Pi and then into the screen. So it's nice and compact and it's a pretty cool little unit. So I'll show you how to configure the Raspberry Pi and get the whole thing working with the calibration and the drivers and everything. So installing it is very, very easy. Um, basically, you just plug straight in. So plug it in just like that. And there's a little nut that goes on here, holds it on, and then all you have to do is get your adapter this little short plug and stick it in and you're done that's it that's the installation done easy as all right let's move on to the uh, configuration now okay so you've imaged your SD card and booted your Raspberry Pi if you boot into the uh, GUI here start X and uh, you'll see basically what I'm seeing um, obviously you, you won't be able to use your 5 inch screen yet because we have to do some settings so um, I've already got the settings done, but if you plug your Raspberry Pi into an external monitor or a TV with HDMI or something like that, you will see a similar thing that I've got here. So if you open up the terminal, which is this button here, now we can type in uh, sudo apt-get, then update, and that will do all your updates. And then do the same, but instead of update, type in upgrade and that will do another set of updates and um, make sure everything's going to work that we want it to. So once you've done your updates and your upgrades, it might be worth rebooting and then come back to the terminal screen as shown here. So we've got to change some settings in the config file um, to tell the Pi on boot um, what resolution and what settings to use through the HDMI so the screen can operate correctly. So what we'll do is we'll open up the config.txt file using nano so we'll type in sudo then nano then slash boot slash config.txt and here's our config file this is basically like the bios of the raspberry pi so this is basically what boots first before anything else roughly speaking so if we come down, we need to change our HDMI settings, which are the these three here. So you can see we've got HDMI group equals two. There's two groups of resolution settings, group one and group two. So we want group two, and then we want mode 87. Then we put this third line down, HDMI CVT, 800, 480, 60, then the 6000. So once you've done that, you put those three lines in, you can uh, control X to exit as it says down the bottom there, and then it will say, do you want to save the changes? You hit yes and enter. So for me, I didn't make any changes, but with your changes, it will ask you, are you sure? Yeah, you're sure you want to make it work. So once you've done that, shut down the Pi, attach your screen, reboot the Pi and then the screen will work as I've got it working here. The um, next thing to do is we need to download the drivers. So what we can do then is once you've rebooted, so if you head to your browser and we want to head to the Waveshare wiki um, for our screen. So this is the address here, and you can see it in the comments below. Just cut and paste that, or type it in, or 
whatever if you're on the PC or if you're on your Raspberry Pi. So most of this stuff we can ignore, most of these instructions. Basically what we're interested in is the file down the bottom in the resources section. This last one here, LCD show, that's what we want. So if we can download that. So we download that with the download link. That's going to be our drivers and the utility. All in Japanese, but yep, we want to download it. So it's coming down here. Once we've got that downloaded, we're going to come down to the FAQ. And there's just a few commands we want to copy here. So we want these ones here. And then, once you've done that, the 5 inch HDMI LCD command here sudo dot slash LCD5 da 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 da. So this here will unzip our um, the archive we've just downloaded and then this one will install the drivers. Alright, now that we've got our file downloaded, we can head back to the terminal and navigate to our downloads folder. Then we can extract, so we go I have a habit of putting pseudo, so I don't know if I need it in this case, but it doesn't hurt to put it there. XVF LCD dash show dash one five o six o two dot tar dot gz. Just double check your file name because the numbers there may change depending on what uh, version you download. So just double check and uh, make sure you put the same numbers there. And that will extract. Give it a few moments. Okay, now we can navigate into the folder we just extracted. So, cd, uh, home, pi, downloads, slash, lcd, dash, show. All right, and now we can install the drivers. So, sudo, dot, slash, LCD 5 because it's a 5 inch LCD dash show and install the drivers and then it'll automatically reboot so I'll give it a second all right rebooting Okay, now for the last part. Once again, we'll hop into terminal. And we want to navigate back to the folder we were just in just before we rebooted. So CD home pi downloads slash LCD show. Okay, so to install the calibration utility, we're going to use the dpkg function. So if we type in sudo dpkg i x input 
calibrator underscore zero dot seven dot five dash one underscore um, H F dot Deb. Once it finishes there, we're done. Now we can close this. Now how do you calibrate the screen though? Well that's easy. You got your pen and if you head up to the top here, menu preferences, calibrate touch screen, there it is there. And then you just touch the four dots as best as you can. And it's calibrated. Done. As easy as that. And anytime you want to recalibrate, you can just head back to your preferences up here and run the utility again. All working, all good. Let's, let's show you how accurate we can get. Open up the uh, browser. You see, we can touch whatever we want, but one of the things that really gets me is when they're not calibrated, you can't touch the X. But spot on. The small little things, yeah, especially in the corners, it's it can sometimes be a bit hard to touch, but these ones are pretty good. So there you go. Calibration and drivers installed for the 5-inch touchscreen. I'll see you next time.